In this video, we're going to be discussing uh, setting up your first cut, or first test cut. So, um, basically, um, you're going to want to go to your desktop and click on your Mach 3 loader. Your screen is going to look different than this one. I'm using a different computer um, so that I can have the webcam and screen capture capabilities. So, you want to click on your Mach 3 loader, and then you want to click on the, uh, the, the first uh, profile, the DTHC profile. Double click on that. Now at this point you want to have your um, control box on. Make sure you got that switch down on the bottom right. And then you can also want to have the motor power switched on. Um, you're going to want to make sure the green green button's been hit and green lights on down there. And that will lock up your motors. And um, once the mock is in control, we can hit the reset button, and that will allow us to jog our axes around. So, at this point, we're ready to set the machine up to cut. The first thing, you want to get in the habit of um, doing a metal checklist to make sure everything's on um, that needs to be on. And so, first off, generally I like to make sure my rails are clean, that there's nothing on my rails, there's no debris up in here that will get in the way. I haven't left any tools on here. Um, so, and then I want to make sure that um, my plasma cutter is on. I want to make sure that my um, air supply, my compressor is on. Um, just to make sure everything's in line. You want to make sure your digital torch height control is online down here. That green light should always be on when you're hooked up. Um, so, when you do that, done through doing that checklist, um, the next step is to zero out to create your machine zero. Okay, to do that, we do we reference the X and the Y. So we'll start off. I'll reference the X, and I can hit the Y, reference Y, and that will reference directly afterwards. Okay, so this is going to give us our machine zero. This is the point we can always get back to, and if we ever have problems, we lose steps um, in the middle of our run, um, we're going to be able to use this point to get ourselves referenced again. So, now with those referenced, I can zero these axes out. Alright, and now the next step is going to be to go to the settings page and create I'm, I'm sorry, I'm one step ahead of myself. The next step is to jog over to the corner of my plate. Now I've already um, determined, set up my plate so it's nice and straight. At this point I might want to do that. If I hadn't, I'd run the torch down the edge of it and kind of eyeball it, make sure it's all squared up. Um, so I'm happy with that being the corner of my plate. Um, at that point what I can do is go to the settings page now and set my reference point. Okay. So, with that reference point set, if I ever lose steps, I can go back to my zero point and then hit basically um, go to reference point right here and I will end up right back where I started. And I'll be referenced um, again. So, with that done, I'm going to go back to the program run page. Okay. The next step is we're going to load up our G code. Now the G code we created in the last video is test star. And um, so you navigate to where you saved that and open that up. So I'm going to zoom my table display in here a little bit so I can see this a little better. Um, now with that in place. I am now one thing I haven't done yet is zeroed out my axes as you can see it's showing it over here that's not the correct place for it to start so I will zero out my axes and then I will zip back down so now I'm correctly referenced okay so at this point the first thing we're going to do is run a dry uh, test cut 
test run. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna not cut it. We're just gonna let mock do its thing. In order to um, do this, we have to have the torch height control off. If the torch height control is on, uh, mock will simply move to the first uh, pierce. It will lower down and raise up to pierce height, and then it will rate, wait for the arc OK signal that should be being sent from the plasma cutter. Well, since the plasma cutter is never going to get turned on, it's never going to get the arc OK signal, so it'll just sit there. So to do a test cut like this without the plasma cutter on, you need to have the torch height control off. Okay, so this button indicates whether it's on or off. Um, one thing you might want to check is go into this cut profile and check to see if this auto THC is unchecked. Okay, because if that's checked, it will automatically turn on the torch height control when you start the program. So normally it's nece not necessarily a bad thing, but um, just you got to be aware of it. So at this point, we're loaded up, we're zeroed out, and I'm ready to hit run. And um, I'm going to watch to see how well this system goes through this cut. And uh, so I'm just going to hit run. You know, you can watch to see how it's going down to touching off and then going down to cut height. And we're done. Um, so that looked pretty good. Now, I think I'm ready to do my first test cut, and uh, we're going to be doing that in the next video, but uh, do the first actual cut without the torch height control on. So.